What's up, everybody? I'm D Life HD here and Solely Curious. And we're at the Lionfish Festival. Yes. Uh, tell us all about it because, you know. So, I don't want to give a little too much away because we will be going on to have a professional get more information on what the Lionfish is all about. But we are here at Juno Beach with Loggerhead Marine Life. Center and Reef that combine, they're found in Key Lago. They combine together to work on working on a little lionfish problem. So we're here learning a little bit more about the lionfish, what it has to do with our ecosystem. It's a fish, so it's in the sea. So we're getting a little bit of information. Why is it important for us to care what we want to do? So the music is about to cue in right behind us. We have some chef cooking up some <gasps> lionfish, and we're about to get some more information for you. So hope to see you there. All right. Hey. So we're here with uh, the other Hannah, <laughs> and she's going to tell us a little bit about the lionfish of itself. So what is a lionfish? So a lionfish is a uh, native fish of the Indo-Pacific, and they have found their way into Atlantic waters over the entire country. So many people have used them for their aquarium for a long time because they're a very ornamental fish, they're very beautiful, and people like the way they cook, but they're not native to this area, and when those fish start getting bigger and more aggressive,
and teach them about ways that you can enjoy lionfish in a culinary uh, setting. What's up everybody? There are people preparing food with lionfish in it. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we're gonna go up ahead and we're gonna follow Hannah and get her info on how some of these dishes taste. So come on! Can you tell us what this is? Um, Lionfish. Uh, it's been grilled with garlic, salt, pepper, paprika, basic. But then in this pot, it's everything else: potatoes, chorizo, saffron, tomato, olive, um, olives. It was cooking all morning with some bay leaves. Someone came by and said, "We think there's a Cuban low country oil," and I'm like, "Oh, that's a good idea." Yeah. Nice. Awesome. All right. Moment of truth. Nice. Good. Looks like different kinds of potatoes in here. No, they're all just red potatoes, but they red potatoes. cooking with the saffron, so they soak up all of that saffron oh, flavor all morning. Very good. This is literally cooking since 10 o'clock this morning. Kind of like a hard and boiled away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine coming home from work. It's dark out already. You got this. We're good to go. So delicious. Fantastic. Can I try one of these? Can you tell us what's going on here? Like what you've got to, to eat today? Local lion Amazing, uh, everything smells amazing. The problem is because of our dietary, uh, I guess, dietary beliefs, yeah. we can't have any. Well, we're <laughs> unsure. And yeah. what, is the, what is the comment when you're unsure you would go with You play no. it safe. Yeah, and you go with no. So we're not particularly sure, but it smells so good. It's like a mixture between tilapia and snapper. Oh, yeah, the smell is amazing. <laughs> Like, it's just like melting my mouth right now. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to continue like walking around and doing other things as well. And we'll talk to you later. And we're also getting other people's opinions. Yeah, we are. So you'll be able to watch those as well. I mean, we can't try it, but we get other people to try it. Yes, we so. can. I like the coconut water poached lion fish with the couscous with the blood orange sauce. Excellent. What about you? I like them all. <laughs> there you go. score of a 78, Chef Jennifer Dingler. Woo! Dingler, excuse me. In second place, with a score of 80 out of 90, Chef A.C. Vincent. And five points separating first and second. So with a score of 85, and our first place winner, Chef Jimmy Hughes. Chef Jimmy and Chef Jen are coming to Orange Beach, Alabama to uh, represent themselves at the World Food Championship uh, to win up to or over $350,000 in cash prizes and represent their states of Florida.